Okay. Chris Benoit versus Steve Austin in the main event. Yeah. Benoit comes Are out. Are you going to argue about this one being a good match while you're at it, Vinny? No, no, we're not. Thank <laughs> if any, if anything, I'll probably go farther on this than you are. Vince, uh, Benoit comes out, does his full entrance. Vince comes out in a referee shirt, announces himself as the special ringside enforcer. Steve Austin comes out, and then they go to commercial. They come back. Austin's music is still playing, and the match begins. You can do it. It's mm-hmm. not that hard. Same fucking guy is doing production. <laughs> Twenty twenty. That's funny. So the bell rings, and for, first of all, I looked down and noticed there was still 20 minutes of, of TV time left. That made me happy. Right. Now, from the very, very get-go, like the Raw match is a very, very good pro wrestling match. Don't get me wrong. But you can also tell it was the first time Austin and Benoit had worked together, and somebody was a little, was a little cautious about what they did. Benoit's comebacks were like all chops and all suplexes. He did like nothing. In this match, they figured out they could work together just fine, and they basically let Benoit free. And he was just Chris Benoit, great pro wrestler. He's working uh, Austin over from the bell, goes to the crossface over and over again, chopping the hell out of him this time. Austin is desperate. He brings the belt into the ring, but he gets DDT'd on it. But then Benoit tries the diving headbutt, and Austin blocks it with the championship belt. And he has the heat now. Which cut Benoit's either nose or his cheek. I believe a bloody nose. It was his cheek for sure. I mean, he did a diving headbutt, and it's Chris Benoit. Guy's going to get the belt up, so I'm going to close my eyes and do it. And he headbutted the belt, busted his cheek open. He's bleeding all over the place. It's like, my God. And later later on, he went for a superplex, and when they landed... Stone Cold didn't really sell. Benoit immediately grabs his neck. Yeah. He wrestles Ugh. a match with a broken neck. Yes. I know. It's crazy. He Two in crazy. a row. Yes. This one much harder and more intense than the Raw match. Yeah. The, this the, the, the Raw match was a good TV main event. This is like a good pay-per-view main event here on a random-ass SmackDown. Right. So Austin is working Benoit over, t- tearing the, the, the tape off his ribs, the bandages off his ribs. Using a Boston Crab, a sharpshooter, and they go back and forth with that. And Benoit fights back and busts out the rolling German suplexes. And he hits, I think, five in a row and stops to punch him, but the crowd's chanting for more, so he just grabs him and suplexes him some more. Gets up to ten in a row. Crowd's just going crazy at this point. It's like jumping up and down for their hometown mm-hmm. hero. Vince jumps in the apron. Benoit shoves Austin into him, throws him the cross face, but Vince takes out Earl Hebner. And so Vince grabs a chair. He's going to put a stop to this Benoit fellow once and for all. But Benoit sees him coming, kicks him in the junk, lets go of the crossface, picks up that steel chair, and beats the holy <laughs> hell out of Vince McMahon. Just smashes him. This chair was in a different condition after this beating than it was when the beating began. But in the middle of it, Benoit didn't take his eye off the ball, and Austin schoolboys him, grabs the tights, and wins. So a few things here. First off, if you watch this match, they basically did a full match, including a ref bump, to get the heat. Basically, yep. yes. Yep. They get the heat for a while. It's fucking great. And then when Benoit does the famous 10 rolling German suplexes, Vince McMahon, who eventually jumps up on the apron, Vince is on the outside pleading with the referee to stop the match. He's pleading with him to give the championship to Chris Benoit. That's how concerned he is about the beating that Benoit has given Steve Austin. So he finally jumps up on the apron, and they do the schmoz or whatever. He gets a chair. And yes, Vince McMahon, whenever he worked with anybody, would always tell them to lay it in Mm -hmm. and make it look good. I would suspect in this instance he regretted that deeply (laughs) because Benoit gave him the most vicious beating with this chair. Now, granted, only one of the shots was really bad. He did a, he gave him a chair shot to the head, top of the head, but it was like straight down. So, like, not only do you get a concussive blow, but your fucking vertebrae get like compressed. Compressed. It's fucking brutal. The rest of them were just to the body. And listen, if you say laid in and you're taking chair shots to the body. I mean, you're going to get what you're going to get with Chris Benoit. And Vince had to know that. And then the finish using the trunks. 
You know, at the end of the day, what I said about Austin being a fighting champion, he did cheat at the end. But you know what? He worked. He tried to win the match fair and square. He refused to give up. He was putting the cross face a million times. He tried to hit Benoit with all of his moves. As far as like a professional wrestling match, this was one of the greatest matches ever on Raw. Or SmackDown. And, and dude, or SmackDown, we have seen in the last three weeks now, one all-time classic after another on this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to go. no, I agree. <laughs> we saw Just the tag go. team title match. We saw the TLC match. We saw two Benoit Austin matches. That's four, like, impossibly good matches in a little over two weeks. It's a good show. It's been a a hot run. Just to go back just a little bit, for every indie manager or second or heavy that stands outside of the ring while your guy's in there doing battle, watch what Vince McMahon does when he's outside of the ring with Steve Austin. He is living and dying by everything that Austin's going through. He gets put in the crossface and he swallows hard and his eyes bug out. He's terrified that he's going to lose. And he's just, he's such a character. Well, the other thing too is, you know, one of Regal's favorite wrestlers to watch, one of, one of Vince's was Regal. Vince loved William Regal yes. matches. Sure. Yes. Now, that doesn't mean he didn't make Regal champion. In fact, he barely even featured Regal in the ring at all. Because as a promoter, he personally loved these matches, but clearly he didn't think that they were going to be like big drawing matches. But there was a moment in this match, I can't remember what spot it was, but there's a look on Vince's face where he's supposed to have a look of horror. Mm -hmm. But he actually looks like he's a little kid in a candy store. Like he's just in front of his own two eyes, live, five feet from him. He's watching one of the greatest matches he ever saw. He just looks so happy while he's supposed to be looking so horrified at what's going on. Anyway, this was awesome. Fantastic. That was a great match. I give this a 10 on the granny scale. This is absolutely a 10. I think we all agree this was a 10. 